Hello guys, you're welcome back to Boyos Network. Thanks for always tuning in to listen. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks once again. Do not vote for Peter Obi because he's an evil man. <laughs> this is not Peter Obi, now they talk this one. So, in a video uploaded on YouTube by Channel Television, Peter Obi said that they should not vote for him because he's an evil man. And his, and his accent is there anywhere he will buy bread cheaper? No. Do not vote for anybody because he is from the north or from Yoruba. Do they buy bread cheaper because they are from the north or from because they are from Yoruba? No. Is there anywhere that they have uninterrupted electricity? No. Is there anywhere where Christians buy bread cheaper or Muslims buy bread cheaper because of their religion? The answer is no. Peter B then said, why are people telling us about Christians or Muslims? According to him, this is what brought failure into the system. And he said everywhere in the world, people don't care about where anybody comes from. He gives an instance that when he arrived at Oweri this morning, he did not know who was the pilot. He said he only entered the plane because the man was qualified and not because of his religion or because of where he comes from. Hmm. This one a true talk and this kind of talk can only come out from a true leader. Well, honestly speaking, I think it is high time for Nigerians to wake up from their slumber. They should look beyond this religion thing, this northern and this, Ibo this, Ibo that, Awosa this. Yoruba this and see this 2023 as an as an avenue to, to elect the kind of leaders Nigerian deserves now and also in future to assume its rightful place amongst other nations. Ahead of 2023 election, so many people are getting ready to be wooed and wild at the campaign ground by various politicians seeking different offices. The Nigerians should think beyond their immediate pocket what they are going to get for now. They should think beyond that. It is about Nigerians and the kind of leadership it deserves now and in the future to ensure that our country assumes its rightful place among other nations. According to the former president, Good Luck Jonathan, he said that Nigerians should shift away from the politics of bread and butter and ensure that they do not elect leaders that will buy their conscience today and mortgage their futures, the futures of their family, the futures of their children and grandchildren. They should endeavor to elect only those that will leave legacy of unity, peace and development and of a truth. That is what Nigerians need. We are tired of unemployment. I don't know. We are tired of insecurity. Fighting there and there. Igbo people are there glamouring for presidency. Not an say, ah, now we power there, our hand to Yoruba, say, ah, now time for Yoruba people. But they forget, say, all of them see the face wanting insecurity. Insecurity as it did for Igbo, and so it did for Yoruba land, and so it did for our sal land. Poverty unemployment is cut across the whole country you know they're peculiar to one religion one religion so that is the reason why nigerians should stop all this they're fighting they should come under one umbrella and have a voice bring out their mind to vote for the person that will help this country the person may not actually be the messiah yes the person may not be the messiah but at least the person should be able to build a legacy down Nation grows on the back of lasting legacy left by successive leaders. Our founding fathers may have offered their best effort and made their own mistake in service to this country. But we should stand up, take our stand now and try to correct it. That is what Nigerians need. We need to stand in unity, not in disunity. Until every Nigerian see that every election, election circles provides Nigerians with the opportunity to take decisions that will help them renew their hopes, restore what was lost, and rebuild the country. Things will never change. 
Yes, things will never change until we change our mentality. The real problem that Nigerians have is that election time is the time to enrich themselves. Forgotten that whatever they get today is just temporary compared to what the person is going to get. The person will just give them that peanut. At the end of the day, they will vote in that person and they will be enslaved for eight years. Yes, we know that of a truth. What the problem Nigerians are facing now did not just start now. It started from the, our past heroes. Our past hero, rather than seeing Nigeria as a united entity, the past heroes saw it as a country of different nationalities under which every region will pursue their, will pursue their different development agenda. But we, as the new generation, has to come together and stop that. All these years that we have been living like that, it has never healed any result. So why should we continue? Which time has come for Nigerians to sit back, think and think very well. For over years now, for all these years, we have been living like cats and rats in this country, just one nation. Yet nothing good comes out of it. So let's try the other way around by coming together in one voice and elect a leader, not because the leader is from Yoruba or because the leader is from Aosa or because the leader is an Igbo, but elect a leader that is capable, a leader that we know this person have, this person have what it takes to help Nigeria out of the shit, the deep shit that Nigeria is now. Our currency right now does not have value. You cannot even boast of making a good pot of soup with 10,000 naira. A whole big amount of 10,000 naira. You can't boast of it. So what are they telling me? Unemployment everywhere. Insecurity everywhere. Students are out of school. No job. As in, even the ones with the inside the school self, they know not finish because of ASU strike. So what is actually working? Nothing is working in Nigeria. Nigeria right now looks like a failed country. It takes the grace of God for us to come out from where we are right now. So waiting we need now, not be all these youths, this one go shout, Tunubu this, this one go shout. Make we now vote the right person into power. The battle is between Tunubu, Atiku and uh, Obi. Look among the three, select the best. Look among the three. The people will be said they don't live life and waiting they don't achieve so far for their life for this country. What have they achieved? Look at those things and pick out that one person. I'm not here to campaign. For, I'm not here campaigning for anybody. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. But all I need to tell you is that don't sell your conscience. Whoever you are voting for, vote for that person, knowing fully well in your heart that this person is capable. Be vote before that person, not be because of say they give you money. I beg, Nigerian, enough is enough. Meanwhile, I'm going to stop it here. Please hit the comment section and drop your comment with us. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Once again, I appreciate you for stopping by.